It's not every day that maritime historians find a shipwreck that will substantially change the trajectory of their profession, but for a team of researchers in the Netherlands, this moment has come around by accident. On the bottom of the North Sea, salvage teams, who were looking for shipping containers that fell off a merchant ship in a storm near the Dutch coast, stumbled upon a shipwreck and alerted researchers. They had found a wreck dating back to 1540 that may hold clues to what researchers have been trying to uncover for decades. A lot of people think of the Dutch as a maritime nation, and this ship tells us something about how we became that nation, said maritime and underwater archaeologist Martijn Manders. Mr. Manders said this shipwreck is of great importance because it dates back to a period where shipbuilding technology was in a transition from the medieval period to the Dutch Golden Age. We have to keep in mind that about 100 years after this ship sunk it was the Dutch Golden Age, where we had all these big ships traveling all over the world, he said. Previously, Mr. Manders and his colleagues had been investigating a ship dating back to the 1590s for evidence of this technological transition, but this new wreck puts the transition period at least 50 years earlier. Part of the reason why researchers have been able to identify this ship as one belonging to this transitional period is because of the way the timber was arranged. In the medieval period, ship hulls were constructed with timber planks overlapped, known as clinker built hulls, whereas ships built afterwards started introducing timber arrangements that saw planks sit flush alongside each other, known as curval built hulls. This ship shows signs of a specific transition from the smaller medieval ships to the larger ships with more masts, Mr. Manders said. Rex Cargo also has stories to tell preserved with the ship was its cargo containing various copper plates that belonged to the Fugge family, who were one of Europe's richest banking families that financed kings and emperors including the Holy Roman Empire's Maximilian I. Mr. Manders said the family was able to enrich itself through the copper trade by pushing out Hanseatic traders from the North Sea, a Middle Ages trading guild from northwestern and central Europe. Mr. Manders speculated that this Hanseatic purge was a contributing factor for innovation within the Dutch shipbuilding industry as the Fuggers had no other choice but to commission ships from Dutch manufacturers. Subsequent chemical testing has determined the copper plates lifted from the wreck were also of the same substances used to create the Netherlands' first copper coins. External link, tweet, copper plates, Dutch Cultural Ministry While it is unclear if the wreck's copper plates were slated to become coins, the cargo remains significant for Mr. Manders. These copper plates date back exactly to the beginning of copper money that was produced in Europe, which was a very special time. Presently, the wreck is being secured by Dutch authorities while another wreck visit is slated for the Dutch summer. For Mr. Manders, 
What lies in the deep may unlock a raft of stories about how Europe moved from medieval society into one of seafaring imperial might.